Welcome back everyone. We decided to hit up Big Top Flea Market this morning. We have about 12 to 15 GameCube discs that we just could not get working. Some of them are really good ones like Zelda Wind Waker, uh, Animal Crossing, Super Smash Brothers, and a couple of Mario Sunshines. So we dropped those off with Ed. In the meantime, I went out to the Browseway and found quite a bit of stuff, guys. So let me show you what I found. Unfortunately, there's no footage for it. I just kind of went out there expecting just to get these discs cleaned. and uh, But we did find a few things. First, found this thought it was kind of neat really good condition Mario Brothers for the Atari 2600 with its manual paid six bucks for that that same guy had some comic books I decided to pick up got these all for a dollar a piece we got New Mutants 100 X-Force number two X-Force number four both of those are like second and third appearance of Deadpool then I've got Probably the best thing I found today, the Infinity Gauntlet uh, six comic set. It's got all six comics. Uh, the movie, as you know, uh, the Avengers movie that's going to be coming out very shortly is going to be based loosely off this comic series, which is really cool. And then one of the uh, regulars out there, I've bought quite a bit of uh, video games from him before. I got all of this stuff for 20 bucks. We got... Not one, but two Atari 2600 controllers. Set of Atari paddles. Don't know if these work, but the controllers are fairly easy to get fixed. Same thing with these. And then just kind of a hodgepodge of games. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the 360. Got a loose copy of Driver for the PS1. Loose copy of Frogger for the PS1. Complete Medal of Honor. We've got a loose copy of Kingsfield 2. We got some more loose stuff here. We got Spider Man for the PS2 loose. Simpsons Road Rage loose for the Xbox. Batman Dark Tomorrow for the Xbox. The Thing for the Xbox. Spider Man 2 for the Xbox. Then we got a complete copy of Crash Nitro Kart. And this one is missing the manual of Simpsons Hit and Run for the Xbox. And he also got me a copy of Army Man Air Attack 2 for the PS1. Then we found somebody with a whole bunch of box sets. All of these were $2 a piece. We've got House. We've got the third season of 24 this one's sealed we have got the season 2 sealed of 24 we've got the second season of the Sopranos first season of South Park season 1 of the original Heroes and we've got the first complete season of Sopranos as well then all of these box sets were a dollar a piece. We have got the first season of the OC. We have got the third season of the OC. We have got season five of How I Met Your Mother. And we have got season three of How I Met Your Mother. The first complete season of Reno 911. The sixth and final season of Gossip Girl. And season two of Weeds. So, guy, all this stuff cost me $56. When I added it all up, comics really helped a lot since they were only a dollar a piece. It ended up being about $304. So, this stuff's going to, again, immediately be able to go out and uh, hopefully be able to sell. So guys, if this is it, I'm thinking about going to Webster tomorrow, meaning Monday morning. If not, guys, thanks for watching. So guys, as promised, here is the stuff I got from the Webster Flea Market uh, this morning, meaning Monday. I uh, did not do any filming because I got out there about 7 o'clock. There was hardly anybody out there even set up. So I gave it about an hour and then just walked around and found a few things. Uh, it definitely has settled down uh, quite a bit out there, I think, because summer's coming up and uh, they're about to shut down. Not a lot of people are setting up, but again, at least I was able to find a few things. I found these two games for $2. We've got World Driver Championship for the N64. 
and Wayne Gretzky hockey for the NES. Like I said, these were $2 a piece. Then, probably my best find today, I was able to get a Heavy Sixer Atari 2600 bundle. First, let me show you the games that I got. They were all boxed. We got a boxed copy of Space Invaders. Got a boxed copy of Pac-Man. Outlaw. Breakout. Home Run. And this is actually kind of cool. This is the Gatefold uh, Combat. And what I mean by Gatefold, it opens up. And the way you can tell, just as a little tip for you guys, this was the very first version of Combat that came out because as you can see, there's a number on the uh, front of it here. Okay. In that bundle, I got a new old stock CX40 Atari joystick still in the box it still has the wrapping around the uh, cable thing looks brand new I did open it up though and test it to make sure the joystick does work and it does work here is the manual for the Atari 2600 also has a warranty card in there I got two controllers with it here is the standard CX40 joystick. Again, both of these work as well. And I believe this is the CX10 joystick. The reason I think that is, is the noise it makes. It's very noisy, but it does work, which is cool. We've got a set of paddles. They pretty much work, I'd say about 90% work. There's just a tiny bit of jitter in them, um, but probably can clean them and that'll fix that. Thought this was kind of cool. This is the power supply for it. I'd never seen one like it before. It does say Made in Sunnyvale on it, so this must be like an original uh, Heavy Sixer power supply. And here is the system in amazing condition. There you go. And for the most part, this works. The only problem with it is the second controller port. If you plug, if it's not, you don't even have to plug anything. If you play a second player game, for some reason, the uh, joystick button, it, it's almost like it's stuck. It's not though, because there's not even a joystick or a controller plugged in. It just keeps shooting, auto shooting. So I was talking to the guys on Atari Age. They believe it's a hex chip that needs to be replaced in it. I don't know how to do that, but I've got somebody who repairs stuff. So I may end up giving this to him to see if he can fix it. So basically, guys, all that stuff that you just I just showed you was $45. Uh, at retail, this is about $187. So I'm going to do really good on this if I can get this darn thing fixed. Then, just so you guys know, if you ever make it down to Webster and want to go about two miles away from Webster Flea Market, there's another small flea market. Uh, it's real small, but it's also kind of an outdoor one. So you can all, there's a good chance to find all kinds of stuff out there. I did find a few things. I found seven Xbox and PS2 games. They were all a dollar a piece. Could not pass these up as well. We've got a complete copy of Burnout 3. A Need for Speed Underground for the Xbox. Then probably the best game out of this lot. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual. It is the Street Fighter Anniversary Edition. Then we got a few PS2 games. We've got Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It's complete. This is Grand Theft Auto 3. Got a copy of Rocky. And we just sold a copy of this uh, a couple days ago. So I went ahead and picked another copy up. That's Grand Turismo 4. So again, I paid a dollar a piece for these. That's like seven bucks. This ended up being about $60 worth of stuff. So I think I ended up spending about $56 today 
at retail it's about almost 250 so we're going to do really good on this stuff again hopefully i can get that atari 2600 fixed if not i may end up keeping this one for myself i've got a uh, sears telegames heavy sixer i may just throw that one out to sell at the store and keep this one for myself until i can get it fixed don't know how much it's going to cost hopefully 20 25 bucks we can get it fixed and get it out on the shelf again guys thanks for watching